Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and today is all about the beginner bass fisherman. If you're just getting started in bass fishing, I'm gonna show you how you can get everything that you need for $75. That's it, 75 bucks, you're gonna have a rod, reel, line, and three different lures to start with for three different techniques that you can use anywhere across the US, anywhere across the world. So stay tuned, it's gonna be awesome. This is actually going to be a two-part video. Today, I'm gonna to show you all the equipment and lures line, everything that you need, and then we're gonna actually gonna go online and buy it, and then next week, or when we get that shipment in, I'm gonna put out another video of showing you exactly how to fish the lures that I've selected, and we're gonna hopefully catch a lot of bass on them too. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. First things first, let's talk about the first thing. That's a lot of first. First thing you're gonna wanna buy is a rod and reel combo, right? So something just like this. This is a spinning rod. You have bait cast rods, but I'm gonna suggest that you start out with a spinning rod because a spinning rod is a lot easier for a beginner. It's a lot easier to cast. It's a lot easier to just get the feel of, of bass fishing with. So a spinning rod and reel combo. So it, here's a spinning reel. It goes on the underside of a rod. This is also known as an open faced reel. Um, so you may hear people call it that, but I'm gonna re recommend buying a rod anywhere from six foot to seven foot in length and also a medium action, right? And medium action is very pivotable. Pivotable. Medium action is very important because a medium action is gonna allow you to do the techniques that we're gonna talk about today, the three different techniques. So six foot to seven foot, medium power or medium action rod and a spinning rod. So let's go ahead, let's jump online, let's buy the first rod and reel that you're gonna purchase, or maybe it doesn't have to be this one, but it's one that I would recommend purchasing. All right, guys, here we are at BassProShop.com. This is where we're gonna be purchasing everything that we're getting today. So let's start with this spinning rod and reel. Um, the one I'm looking up is an Abu Garcia uh, Ike series spinning rod. Abu Garcia Ike spinning, let's try that. Boom, there it is, right there. Abu Garcia Ike Dude Spinning Rod and Reel Combo. Six foot, medium action, $40. Bam, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that to cart. Bam, add it. All right, so the second thing that you want after your rod and reel is some sort of fishing line to put on your new reel. So. There's a bunch of different types of fishing lines out on the market. There's braided line, there's monofilament, there's fluorocarbon, there's copolymers. There's a lot of different types of fishing line on the market and all of them have really good uses. And to, you know, really I would suggest that in the future as you progress in your bass fishing that you would start to use braided line on your spinning rods, um, which then you can tie a leader onto them. But to start with, I'm just gonna tell you to go out and buy you a 10 pound monofilament line that's gonna work for all of the techniques that we're talking about today or that we're about to talk about. A 10 pound line is gonna be great. That's gonna handle you catching I mean, you could catch 15, 20 pound bass on 10 pound line if you're fishing for that big a fish. Most of the time, uh, you're probably gonna be fishing in ponds and you're probably gonna be fishing for, you know, two to six pound bass. And that 10 pound line is gonna handle that fish and these lures just fine. Let's go ahead and jump online to pick out a line. <laughs> All right, now we got a line, or now we got a rod and reel. Let's get some line. Uh, we're going to go with Berkley, butcher that, Berkley Triline XL Smooth Casting. This is good line. Um, it's, a, it's a line that'll work just perfect, and it is on freaking sale. So that's even better. All right, here it is. Berkley Triline XL Smooth Casting Line. This will work perfect. Um, again, we're going to go with a 10 pound line. I would suggest just using clear um, as far as line color. 
um, go ahead and get you 300 yards um, just that way you can re-spool it in the future um, and 10 pound line perfect so let's go ahead and add that to cart 599 boom there we go all right so now we got your rod we got your reel and we got line for it so now let's kind of get to the sexier part of bass fishing which is kind of your lures and techniques and all that crazy stuff so but before we even get to lures you're gonna need something to put your lures in a tackle box right so everyone there's tons of different tackle boxes on the market but a simple plastic box like this is really useful because you can put this in a backpack just like that and with a backpack you can probably carry three or four of these so once you start acquiring more and more tackle you can put it in your backpack and the good thing about a backpack is if you're pond fishing you can just wear your backpack the entire time you can literally just be out fishing with your backpack have everything you need right there and it makes for a really good setup so let's jump online quick to buy one of these guys probably like a plano 36 or 3700 is going to work perfect all right so let's just type in plano uh 3600 oh bam there it is plano pro latch stowaway utility box 3600 that's it. That'll work perfect. That's all you need to be able to carry around a big amount of lures. So add one of those. All right. All right. Perfect. So now we got your rod, we got your reel, we got your line, and we got a tackle box. Perfect. Now let's start putting stuff in that tackle box. And this is where things can kind of get complicated, right? Because if you go to Bass Pro Shops or if you're shopping online or wherever it may be, it, Dick's locally, wherever you may pick up your fishing tackle, there is so many options for lures out there. It's insane. It really is insane. And thinking of it in a beginner mindset, it's a little bit overwhelming. I want to keep things really, really, really simple here because really if you if you put these three lures that i'm about to show you in this tackle box you're going to be able to face a lot of different conditions out on the water and still be able to catch bass with just these three lures so the first thing that i want to start with is a plastic worm and i'm not talking about any plastic worm i'm talking about the cinco so this is what is called a cinco style bait and it's really just kind of this straight piece of plastic that catches a ton a ton of bass no matter where you are in the country literally from florida to maine to california across the entire country this little stupid plastic about five and a half inch worm catches bass like crazy and it catches pond bass really really well and this is the first thing that i want you guys to buy now here's the thing a Cinco, which this is made by Gary Yamamoto, this is a fantastic bait, but it's a little pricey, right? This individual plastic worm, if you buy it by Yamamoto, is about a dollar a piece. You're gonna pay about uh, $9 for a bag of 10 of them. So instead of the Gary Yamamoto Cinco, I'm actually gonna suggest that you use um, a Bass Pro Shop Sticko, right? And I've actually tested a lot of these different style baits because literally almost everyone in, almost every brand in bass fishing makes, makes this exact same type of plastic worm. I mean, Yum makes it, Strike King makes one, obviously Yamamoto, uh, they all make them, you know? So, but the Bass Pro Shop Sticko is very similar to a Cinco, but a lot less expensive. A lot less expensive so let's jump online real quick let's buy probably just one color of these because really you only need um, about one color to get started and that's some sort of variation of green pumpkin all right so let's jump on uh just type in sticko i think it's spelled sticko bam there we go all right, uh, I, there's a lot of different sizes here. You see we got four and a quarter, five and three eighths, seven and an eighth, three inches. Um, I really like just the five and three eighths 
that's a great all-around bait. You can use it for a number of different things. Um, let's go with a lot of different color options here. What's this color? Is that what I have selected? Green pumpkin. Yeah, perfect. Let's just go with green, the regular old green pumpkin. 619. Boom. Okay, now that you have a Cinco, you're gonna want a hook to actually use with the Cinco. And this is really straightforward because we're gonna use this to start off with just weightless. And we're actually gonna use what's called uh, a wacky rig Cinco. There's a lot of different ways to rig a Cinco. And if you wanna watch a video on all the different ways to rig a Cinco, you can click here. But in the meantime, we're just gonna wacky rig this Cinco. And with that being said, you're gonna use a really simple hook and it's literally called a wacky rig hook, right? And all you're gonna do with a wacky rig hook, well, let me show you one real quick. <clears throat> this is all it is. It's just a hook, you know? It, there's a lot of different brands too that make these hooks too. It's a real simple hook. And all you're gonna do is take your Cinco and literally just put the hook right through the middle of the bait, just like that. That's it. That is exactly how you're going to fish this bait. This is called a Wacky Rig Cinco. In our case, it's a Wacky Rig Bass Pro Shops Sticko, right? So let's jump online real quick and buy this hook. That way you guys can have this hook and this rig and you're ready to go. All right, so let's find a Wacky Hook. Um, I really like the Trocar. So I'm gonna type in wacky trocar, T-R-O-K-A-R. Let's search that. There we go. So there are two different versions. It's the same hook. This uh, this is great. If you're gonna be fishing around a lot of wood um, and or brush, you might want to consider getting the weedless hook. Um, a lot of ponds, you don't have to worry about it. You can just get the simple trocar wacky worm hook, and that's all you'll need. So. Let's go ahead and grab that. Um, you're gonna wanna get the one-aught size. That's probably a, a great size for most uh, Cinco or stick worm type applications like we're gonna be using, so um, great. All right, so now we got your first lure, which is a Bass Pro Shop Sticko worm. That's gonna work really, really well anytime you have calm conditions. It will work in other type of conditions as well, but it's easier to fish in calm conditions. Even if it's cloudy or, or sunny, calm conditions, a Cinco is gonna work fantastic. So let's move on to the second lure, which is a chatterbait, right? And a chatterbait is a phenomenal lure and it's also very easy to fish, which is why I'm recommending it, again, for beginner bass fishermen. So the thing about a chatterbait, <laughs> is that it, it's kind of a couple of different lures all put into one, right? It kind of, it has this skirt, it has a jig head that goes through it, and then it has this blade on top. And so when you cast this chatterbait out, this blade is violently shimmying back and forth on the way in, and it creates this crazy vibration that bass just absolutely love. Now, when it comes to a chatterbait, I'm gonna suggest that you buy the quarter ounce size because a quarter ounce is a little bit smaller than most of the chatterbaits and it just gets a lot of bites, especially in ponds. It's gonna be crazy um, how many bites that this thing gets. So with the chatterbait, most of them come with a trailer actually um, with the lure because this bait is not complete without some sort of trailer on it. And what I mean by a trailer is a piece of plastic that actually goes on this hook. So, but the thing is, if it doesn't come with a trailer, you can actually just use the Cinco that we also bought, or sorry, the Sticko that we bought and use it as a trailer. So let me show you quick how to rig that up. Basically, you're gonna take your Sticko that we bought and you're gonna, you're gonna bite off about two or two, two and a half inches of it. I bite off. Oh, salty. That's what you're left with is this little turd, which you could actually use for net rigging. Um, but we're not gonna talk about net rig right now. But anyways, you have uh, about three inches of a sticko and you have your chatterbait. What you're gonna do is you're simply going to put the hook in the very top 
of the sticko now and just feed that sticko up about an inch and a half and then pull it out. So now you've pulled it out and you're gonna feed the rest of that sticko all the way up the hook, just like so. Okay, and now that is a complete chatterbait, right? This, now what happens is it's gonna add a little bit of weight to your chatterbait, so it's gonna allow you to cast it further. And then when this bait is coming back and quivering all over the place, this tail is just gonna be wagging, just like that, all the way back. This is a great combo, and it's one that I have used for years to catch a lot, a lot of bass. So your second lure is the chatterbait, a green pumpkin quarter ounce chatterbait. And again, it's very simple to fish a chatterbait. We're gonna talk about this more in the next video, but you basically just cast out that chatterbait, and you're gonna reel it back at a medium pace, right? And every now and then, I want you to just twitch your rod or stop reeling. So every now and then, just twitch the rod, stop reeling for just a second, twitch it, just like that. And what happens is that bait is going down, it's vibrating, it's vibrating, all of a sudden it, it lifts up when you twitch it and it falls a little bit and then it keeps on going. And the reason that it's important to do that is because bass sometimes will follow a chatterbait and when you lift it and then let it fall, it basically forces a bass to react to it. And a lot of times when they react to it, they just eat it. So that's the way you fish a chatterbait. All right, so <clears throat> go ahead and go to your search bar and type in chatterbait. There's a lot of different types of chatterbaits, as you can see. Um, the original chatterbait works really, really well, though. So we're going to go with that. It's also the least expensive of them. Um, and again, I want a quarter ounce weight. I really like that for beginner bass fishermen, um, and it's a great pond bait. Um, they have it in white, they have it in chartreuse. <clears throat> Let's go with the green pumpkin color though. I really think that that is a great um, lure um, to have. So uh, let's go ahead and add that to cart. And there you go. So the thing about a chatterbait is that it works really well in windy conditions. So if it's cloudy, whether it's sunny, as long as it's windy, a chatterbait's going to work really, really well. So keep that in mind when you're out there fishing. So let's go on to the third lure, and this is probably my favorite lure of the bunch, and that is a pop R, a popper style bait. Now this is actually a topwater bait. So the great thing about that is that you visually get to see bass come up and just explode on the bait, and it's super, super fun. Now, this bait is gonna work really well when you have cloudy conditions um, and maybe you know calm to just a little bit of wind. That's when this bait is really going to shine. It's also going to shine a lot during summer. So during summer, I almost always have this um, tied on and if it's cloudy I'm throwing it if it's in the morning time I'm throwing it if it's in the evening time right before the sun sets I'm throwing it and the thing is again once you get a few bass to eat this you are you're gonna love it you're gonna fall in love just like I am because watching a bass come up and just destroy this thing is one of the funnest ways to catch a bass so as you might think um, with a topwater bait that's called a pop R, you're basically going to pop the bait. So what happens is you're gonna cast it out there, let it hit the water, let it sit for just a few seconds and then twitch it, basically just pop, pop, and it's gonna spit some water and then let it sit a little bit and then pop, pop, and let's sit. And you're just gonna keep repeating that all the way back to where you're fishing. Just pop, pop, and I'm telling you what, you are gonna, you are going to get some humongous explosions on this bait and you're just gonna be in love, I'm telling you. So a pop bar is the third lure that I'm gonna suggest. And again, now we have three different baits that kind of cover three different water columns, right? You have a top water bait, which covers the top of the water. We have our chatter bait, which is going to cover kind of that in-between zone, not on the bottom, not on the top, that in-between zone. And then you have the Cinco um, Wacky Rigged, which is actually going to, actually it's really gonna, 
that's really gonna get all it's gonna that's gonna hit on all the water columns because it falls so slowly that you might get a fish that would hit the top water as it sinks you might get a fish that's in that middle and then as it gets to the bottom you're gonna have fish that also eat it right then and there so there it is guys your three lures that you can bass fish with let's go ahead and jump online quick and buy this so let's go ahead and type in pop R. There we go. The Rebel Pop R. This is this is the one. Um, this is also there's a lot there's a few different colors here. Um, this Tennessee shad color is it, it's great. It looks like a bluegill. It looks like a shad. It's going to be perfect. So let's go ahead and go with that one. Alrighty, and with that, that is the last item that we needed. We have our rod and reel, our line, our tackle box, our, our stickos, our hook for our stickos, our chatterbait, and our pop bar. And we got all that for $75.43. And now we can get to fishing. All right, so guys, I'm really excited. We just bought uh, all of our equipment and we spent 75 bucks. 75 bucks is all we need to get started in bass fishing. Now, it's probably going to develop, you know, like most fishermen, you might end up spending literally thousands of dollars. I'm sitting in a $60,000 bass boat, actually closer to $70,000 bass boat right now. So it all escalates from here, but you can get started for bass fishing, whether you're 10 years old or whether you're 40 years old with 75 bucks. That's all you need. So when this shipment gets in, I'm gonna actually uh, get this stuff and we're gonna go fishing with it. I'm gonna show you part two is gonna be how to catch fish on those lures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe below, comment if you have any questions, like the video, and also definitely watch the next one because it's gonna be sweet. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.